So I'm going to do a small video talking about how I did the Buried Depths event. Uh, so it's going to be kind of like a guide. I start off with a Chroma, a Mesa, a Limbo, and a Nova. So the no Nova and Limbo is going to CC. While Chroma heals with Fire Chroma and Mesa kills all the enemies with her uh, Peacemaker. First thing you want to do is you want to go towards the Temple of Prophet. And the Spoiler Orb is going to be the outskirts of that. The Spoiler Orb is going to drop our spawn enemies that drop the coolant. Once the enemies spawn, you go ahead and pick up the coolant. While this is happening, two other people can kind of look around and mark the fissures. You want everybody in your team to have a fissure. So what you can do is you can go, if you are the Chroma or the Nova, you can go over there, back to the Spoiler Orb, and then grab four of the coolant cells. That can kind of make the transition a lot easier. And if you have enough leeway while the enemies are fighting over there and the percentages are going up slowly, you can actually fly around the whole map and mark more of the fissures. That's why they have some of their waypoints on the screen right now. Because we have me and the Nova are flying around marking fissures. As you go on and do this, you're going to have to use one canister for uh, basically four fissures. If you do that, you get a bonus seven points. And if you do four canisters for one fissure, you additionally get this item right here, which we don't know what it's used for yet, but it will basically help you get, um, maybe fight the Explorer or we don't know yet. But really, that's the easy rinse and repeat of this uh, situation. You want to grab four canisters for your whole team. You want to use one canister on four fissures to get the bonus seven points. And then after that, Rinse and repeat. It's not that hard of to do. It's really easy to do with the team that I chose to do this with, being Chroma, Mesa, Limbo, and Nova. And that's really all I have for you guys today for this video. And I hope it helps you guys in trying to form this. It won't. I won't lie. It was really, really boring doing it this way, but it was very efficient, and we got it done in like an hour or less. We actually got like 50 done with this whole uh mission done or 50 fishers done within this whole mission of us farming well if i edit this correctly i will have added this into the video i made but um so i did that form and oh crap i messed up i can't look at last mission progress well i'm gonna f i took a screenshot of it so I'll, if I edit, edit correctly, <sighs> wow, either way, I did a form in like an hour, and I got 50, exactly, no, I got 27-ish, or something like that, I don't even know, because um, I had 22, and then I end up actually getting exactly 50, so I'm not sure how that math added up correctly, but I had 22 before I went to go do that mission, and I came out the mission with 23. Should have been 24, though. I should have 51. I don't know. I definitely had 22, but now I have 50. So, um, take a quick gander at these things. I'm rambling right now. I just noticed that. Uh, take a quick gander at this. Uh, you get Amalgam, Barrel Diffusion, which is multi-shot and 10% dodge speed. And then we got Amalgam, Orgy Shatter, which is critical damage plus charge attack speed. And then Udiko gives us another pack of it, which is Amalgam Shotgun Spash, which is fire rate plus 8% right, revive speed. And we got Amalgam Serration, which is 14% damage and 2% sprint speed. I will show off these mods at max stats later on, or I might just edit over to all this edits and then do it again. Who knows? Either way, um, that's what I wanted to show off that I didn't have in the video before. I'm